Hello, um, I'm doing working on a album of production music for a comedy album, um, kind of movie comedy theme. So this morning when I woke up, I had a um, a little melody for this came into mind. Now comedy music often in in movies is very plinky plonky, plunk, 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 very sharp, sh um, short notes and instruments. Not a lot of bass, a lot of kind of higher register, light um, things, and so this this little kind of arpeggionic little melody in B flat kind of sprang to mind the moment I woke up, and so I'm just going to go through the process of laying that down from just a simple idea through to an entire piece. The first thing was choosing instruments. So in comedy music, movie style comedy music, um, it uses a lot of marimba or a xylophone, um, glockenspiel, and vibes. And the vibes often without the woo 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 woo, so do do do. So I'm using, and, oh, and lots of pizzicato blink 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 blink. So I'm starting off with just having that melody by itself, do do do, just in. The pizzicato and vibes. So it sounds a little something like. Yep, so that's how it starts. And we'll see what happens next. So I've got a, a second melody um, now. After that first um, little theme happens a couple of times, I want it to move into a second melody, a second section and to be a little bit busier. So we're still sticking with pizzicato and vibes, but um, the main melody, instead of being in the vibes now, has been given to the pizzicato, and particularly viola. I, I really like the viola and pizzicato in, in this as a way of doing the melody, and it goes something like this. So that's that melody, so now I'm going to move into fleshing that B section out, making it busier, ding, 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 putting some more instruments in there. Okay, so I've fleshed out the second, the B section, and Percy the cat's decided to join me. He's probably going to screech through this. So I'll just play what I've um, got so far. I have actually slightly changed the melody I just showed you before, especially the last little phrase. And I've put some bassoon in there, because I love bassoon in comedy. Um, something about that kind of duck. Wah, 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 wah. No, it just seems, it sounds funny. So we've got some tuba as well, because tuba is always funny. A bit of oboe, and some strings and things, and it sounds something like this. So then there's a repeat of that section, but change the instruments. So taking that melody dun ba ba da ba ba da ba da and giving it um, to different instruments creates enough variety that you have a sense of continuate continuity, <laughs> but you also have the variety of changing the timbre of the instruments. So that section's getting close to being done, but I'm going to, instead of perfecting that, I want to move on to a third section. Because for this piece of music, I'm going to go section A, B, C, and then A, B, C um, to finish it. So, we'll see what happens next. So, um, I've got a, a C section now. I wanted to do something quite different, but also needs to be able to merge in back into the A section. I decided to go with a chromatic scale. Um, ding, 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 um, a chromatic section, because chromatic always sounds like comedy. Sounds kind of cartoony comedy, and so the chromatic thing goes like this. And again, slightly different. And then to, and that rhythm will tie into the A section, as you'll see in a second. 
So then, um, taking that chromatic thing, I uh, thought it would be good to double that up with a couple different instruments to make it bigger, but also have the bassoon doing the opposite. So while the upper thing is going dun 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 dun, we have the bassoon going bom 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 bom. So we have some kind of um, concertina kind of you know convergence and uh, all that kind of stuff. So it sounds together like this. Bit of percussion. That's the vibe. And then back in the A section. See how it goes. And so then the idea is that that A section, it goes A, B, C, and then again A, B, C, but the A section, the second lot of A, B, C is bigger. More instruments, more happening so that it has a, a bigger ending and a, at the end. So once I've got it all finished, I'll show you the last bit. So the ending's finished now, which is just the C section with a bit, few more instruments. I'll play the whole track. It's not finished mix. I'll mix it again tomorrow morning uh, just to make sure I've got everything sounding right. But then I don't have, expect to have it finished in just one afternoon. I started at 11.30 this morning and it's 4.30 in the afternoon now. So here's it, here's it goes. Starting with that the melody that I woke up with in my head this morning on vibes and xylophone. into section B, much bigger. Using bassoon. And then changing instruments. Keep, keep the same, keeping the same theme, but just changing the instruments. Giving it to an oboe. I like that second chord change, it's not actually in the major key, uh, it's a different change. Section C, the xylophone, the chromatic bit. Also a bit sparser, which I quite like. And that rhythm is the same rhythm as the A section, which goes in now. So you'll hear this A section has few extra instruments like that little violin and some percussion into the B section which is largely the same as the original B section but with a few extra little elements nothing significant though no, like a flute Symbols, just faint. 